Hey friends. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hair today. I decided to go ahead and do it this week, which makes pretty much one week since I've had the twists in, but it's been two weeks since I washed my hair. Um, one week since I've had them all in because it took me close to a week to get it all done. So I am going to wash it today, even though it's kind of starting to look a little juicy and happy right now. I've been um, braiding the back. So anyway, I am going to do that. I'm going to wash it. Oh, when I pull it back, there's more light. So I'm just going to hold it back while I talk. I'm going to wash it today and I'm going to do a hot oil treatment because my scalp is talking to me, um, which is really just my pre-poo hot oil treatment. And then I'm going to shampoo and then deep condition. Obviously, I'll, I'll skip the conditioning and detangling step. I'm just going to deep condition and then put my leave-in in it, pull it back and braid at the end. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, this is the amount that I like, about three ounces of coconut oil, avocado oil, jojoba, not jojoba, I'm sorry, um, rosemary oil and vitamin E oil. I've added other ones from time to time, like jojoba, for instance, but my hair always feels the best with these four oils, this combination. So what I do is I spray my hair. Let me take these guys out here. But I wet my hair down, and this is warm water in a little bottle. By the way, I'm in my kitchen today, as you can see, instead of up in my living room. It's just easier to do all of this here because I also did a video where I made shea butter and or where I, where I blended some shea butter, and I didn't want to do all of that upstairs. My living room is upstairs in my house. So I'm getting them wet, not damp, wet, 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 wet. And then I'm going to apply the oil. Hey guys. Okay, so I put on a lighter towel because I know that it was hard to see my hair. Um, everything was kind of blending in together with my dark towel and my dark shirt and my dark hair. So I put on a lighter one to help, help you be able to see it and me be able to see it. Um, I sprayed my hair with water, completely saturated it. Water, from what I understand, helps to open the cuticle or helps to encourage the cuticle to open. And I want that to happen because I want the oils. There are two oils in this that absorb into hair, avocado oil and coconut oil. And my hair likes both of them. So I want that getting in my hair, not just sitting on it as oils, most oils tend to do. So I'm going to put this on my scalp first and then I'm going to apply it to my hair by running it down the shaft. Okay, here is the bottle and a cup of hot water. It has warmed up sufficiently. I like to warm it before I apply it and um, get going with it. I'm not going to put any conditioner on top of this. Some people pre-poo usually or often with conditioner as well. I don't do that. I just put the oil on, massage my scalp with it, and oh, this is so great. <sighs> Feels good, smells delicious. I love rosemary. Oops, hope I didn't just splash the computer with wet hair. Now the back, I get my scalp, and I massage it into my scalp. <laughs> I look like a, a rag mop head. Y'all remember that from Muppet Show, rag mop. Okay. Just using the pads of my fingertips. Ooh, that feels delicious. And right in here, because this spot actually had the nerve to get dry this week, and I was like, uh uh. Okay. Now. I actually do like to get the end, squeeze it in there like that, and then I actually fold it up on itself and just squeeze. I don't rub, I just squeeze just to get some of that extra in there. Then I do a whole section like that. and I can feel it, that the oil is in it. It feels nice and smooth. And I squeeze to make sure that it saturates through. I think I just didn't get right up in there a bit. There we go. 
Okay. So I'm going to do the rest of the hair with the hot oil. Put a bag on it and wear that for about an hour. And then I will wash it out. And I'll come back to you after I've washed it out. Hey guys, okay, check out my shrinkage. Woo! I'm in the bathroom. I live in a 150, 130 year old building. So you wouldn't believe the refurbishments this building has gone through. So I am in the bathroom trying to hide most of the bathroom <laughs> because yeah, you would be like, wow, really? Okay, so. Let me show you guys what I use to wash my hair. Um, pantyhose, and I didn't cut the top off. I just tied them in a knot, y'all. Just tied them in a knot. <laughs> Put this on my head. I pulled all of my hair kind of up like this. I had my hair in the pantyhose. but coming up into it. And when I washed it, <laughs> I kind of washed the scalp and then drew the shampoo up along the hair shaft. Again, I used this brand, although this is an old bottle. It's called Roots Rosemary Oil Treatment Shampoo. It's local, it's a local company. And I'm about to put in a leave-in conditioner and uh, this is the brand I'm going to use. It's Frulate. This is also local, I believe. Maybe not. But it's called Frulate, and it's a mask. It says Carite. And those look like olive, olives, but I believe they, they're... Um, I believe this is argon oil, I think. So I'm just going to apply this leave-in. I'm sorry, this deep conditioner, not leave-in. This is what it looks like. Maybe you can't see that so well. Very thick. See? So, I'm grabbing a handful. I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to conditioners. Leave in conditioners in particular. Ooh, let me put this up on my lap here. Because I will, as my granny and I would say, I be done, spilled it all over my pants. <laughs> So as you saw, I started from the tips, working my way up to the root. And I'm going to very quickly and easily distribute this through my entire head of hair. And I'll squeeze the twists to make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the twist. When I washed it, it was a really easy process actually. I was very glad it wasn't very complicated. Just put the shampoo on my hand. Oops. Um, ran my hand along the base of my head. And um, then just used the pads of my fingers to scrub it in there. This is weird, Elle. This kind of feels like when you put on a perm. Whenever I do this part like that, <laughs> it feels like a having a flashback to those relaxer days. Okay, believe it or not, I'm almost done. And again, I have a big old wad. Let me start with my tips. Work my way up the hair. And again, if somebody knows a better way to put on deep conditioner that's more, that has a more, um, gives a more economical use of the product, maybe I'm too heavy handed. Maybe my way of doing it is using too much product. I don't know. Let me know. Do you have a different method or do you have a method that you think would be more efficient? But I want to make sure it gets in there. I don't have thick hair. Like I said, you can see how flat my twist lays for my head. But um, 
I do always want to make sure I have good distribution of my deep conditioner. Get in there in the middle with that stuff. I have had some shed hairs actually sliding out of the twist. I don't know if you can see that one. You can't see it, but I can feel it. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna put this in a bag up on my head and um, be ready for the next hour. I'm gonna wear this and then I'll be ready to rinse it out. And when I rinse it out, I will show you. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, I look like Cousin It. You can see some hair and a mouth. <laughs> Check this out. My hair is soaking wet. <laughs> I just took it out. I, uh, yeah, I forgot to put the, uh, stocking back on to rinse out the deep conditioner. And anyway, I just came over here and thought, this looks funny. I'm going to do this on video. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Stop swinging. That's kind of what the coils, what the twists are looking like, looking like at their ends. Can hear my hair dripping onto the floor. Yes, I am sitting in the bathroom on the toilet. Okay, so I'm going to put my leave-in conditioner in, which I mix with a plastic fork in my other Vatica frosting jar. You see that? My leave-in conditioner is Kinky Curly Not Today, Jojoba Oil, and castor oil. So <clears throat> the way I put that in my hair is very simple. I'm just going to, I'm actually going to just blot, blot this dry a bit and then I'm just going to put it on my ends, work it up to the top. Whew. Then I'm going to pull my hair back in a ponytail or actually, yeah, in a ponytail and braid the ends. That's what I'm going to do. So I just want to show this to you post wash, post deep condition, because my hair was screaming for it, and look at how springy it is, boing, boing, hydrated, very happy, okay, I'm pretty much just going to do that all over, put the moist, um, leave in in it, and then I'll show, what you, show you what I do, what I do um, or how I've tied it down at the end for bed, okay.